Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Asante Nisana. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for um, finding time. I want to welcome the membership of the Fourth Estate, uh, the Hasla Nation Movement that encompasses members of parliament from different political parties that have now converged as members of one parliamentary group meeting. We have discussed a myriad of uh, issues. We have discussed about our political formation, the United Democratic Alliance. We have discussed on parliamentary business that is currently before the House and that we intend to sponsor and support going forward. We have discussed matters of national importance. We've had a long discussion on the current situation in the country, especially relating to the corona COVID-19 pandemic that has uh, uh, ravaged uh, the country. We took the position as a team when the Ministry of Health announced the surge in numbers to reschedule all our public engagements until further notice as I uh, announced uh, formally on my social media platform. We've had also an in-depth discussion on matters to do with what we believe should be the current engagement on managing the COVID-19 pandemic, especially with reference to vaccination. And we are going to make a statement uh, about, about that. We also appreciate this political situation in the country. Um, and we are also, we've also discussed on other matters uh, of housekeeping and how we intend to engage the public in our responsibilities, uh, different resp responsibilities as members of parliament, as senators, 
and as leaders in the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a short statement that we are going to make. Um, we appreciate that, uh, as we said about two years ago, that it was the intention of this team to change the political conversation in our country. We are very proud and happy that finally the conversation in Kenya has changed. And today we are not discussing about constitutional change. We are discussing matters economy. That we are not engaged in an exercise of trying to create positions for leaders. That we are in the passionate engagement to see how we can create jobs for ordinary citizens. That today in Kenya, the conversation is not about leaders and what is in it for them in the next political dispensation. The discussion is what is in it for Mamamboga, the Boda Boda Kais, the ordinary people in Kenya. We are very proud that while in the past we were discussing about the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister and other positions, today Mama Mboga has taken the center stage and the border border guy is at the heart of the political conversation in Kenya. We welcome our competitors who have graciously accepted to join us in the conversation about the economy of our country, about ordinary people, about jobs, about enterprise. We want to tell them we are ready and we want to engage in that conversation that is going to bury forever the politics of ethnicity, the politics of division and hate, and is going to elevate our political competition to the realm of issues that would make a difference in the lives of the people of Kenya. We understand that our competitors have criticized matters to do with the economy and matters to do with our bottom-up model. We welcome all the criticism because it is an avenue for us to improve on our model. And while we are at it, they should equally explain to the country how their trickle-down economic model that has not worked for the last 50, 60 years is going to work this time round. It is a healthy conversation. We want to persuade them to remove insults and the reference to bottom up or bottoms up liquor competition or anatomy of different parts of the body. We should get rid of those insults. Let us have a healthy competition, a conversation about the economy of our country. Kenya will be a lot better and Kenya stands to a chance to be greater. 
when we all engage in issues, especially on the bottom-up economic model, to lift the millions of citizens of our nation that today either are jobless or are hustling or farmers and pastoralists and herders who are on food relief. It is our very considered view that our focus on these 15 million Kenyans will not only help us broaden and expand and recruit new taxpayers, we will have the necessary, they will help us to raise the necessary resources to run government and also the necessary resources for us to retire debt that is becoming a crisis in our country. I do not wish to say more than that. Let me now request, starting with Alice Wahome, to begin uh, our statement. Alice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Members of the press, this is a written statement signed by all the members that are present for this press conference. I'll start. Kenyans desire a new, inclusive, people-centered conversation on the future of our nation. That's our title. The governing Jubilee Party has collapsed. The opposition NASA coalition has disintegrated. The Hasra nation has found a new home in the United Democratic Alliance. We welcome all Kenyans who desire a greater future to join us in the United Democratic Alliance. In 2017, Jubilee was elected on a no by an overwhelming majority on the platform of the Big Four agenda that was anchored on the success of the party's first term. Subsequently, a merger of the governing party and the opposition coalition was occasioned by the hardship that was presented ostensibly as a framework for peace and economic growth. Kenyans initially welcomed this development and hoped that the promise of a peaceful environment would facilitate the implementation of the Big Four agenda and enable the Jubilee administration to continue with this development plan. That was never to be. I will now call Soipan to continue with the statement. Sadly, this framework degenerated into an unnecessary, arbitrary, selfish, an unconstitutional attempt at changing the constitution that occasioned unlawful and unbudgeted expenditure of billions of shillings of public resources that are to date unaccounted for and are a subject of the Auditor General's inquiry. Little wonder a recent survey has shown that 72% of Kenyans believe that the country is headed in the wrong direction. For, good, for, for four good years, the country has been engaged in the BBI process, characterized by, characterized by hubris, chest thumping, blackmail, intimidation, and bribery. In this process, party parliamentary committee leadership and members who are perceived to be disagreeable to this scheme became victims of a vicious purge and expulsion. Besides, the criminal justice system, Kenya Revenue Authority, and other state agencies were mobilized and weaponized to intimidate, blackmail, victimize, and persecute leaders, business people, and ordinary Kenyans perceived to be opposed to this unconstitutional order, BBI, and its anti-people recommendations. This provided a leeway 
for the attempted vandalism of the constitution of our country. Fortunately, the judiciary made a very profound decision affirming the supremacy of the people, their constitution, and independent institutions. Honorable Cecil Limbarida. <coughs> Regrettably, the NASA coalition, its principles, and the, their jubilee collaborators took the government hostage, hijacked its agenda, and, one, completely destroyed the governing jubilee party and dismembered the entire opposition coalition. Two, emasculated parliament, undermined the rule of law, threatened the independence of the judiciary, and emboldened impunity. Three, sabotaged job creation, universal health coverage, food security and manufacturing, thus cutting the entire Big Four plan. Four, criminalized hustler enterprises in places like Nyamakema, Gikomba, Kamukunji, Kirinyaga Road, and River Road, amongst others. Five, presided over the brutal or renewment evictions and demolitions of the vulnerable and destruction of private property in places like Kariobangi, Ruai, amongst other, many other places across the country. Six, mismanage the economy, leading to stockpiling of public debt to unprecedented levels occasioned, that has occasioned the current economic crisis that our country is facing. I wish to call upon Honorable Benjamin Tayari. Thank you. Our approach towards a bottom-up economic and governance model. To address this sad and grim state of affairs facing our country, the Hustler Nation, forged by the people in the diversity from all parts of the country, here represented by leaders from across the political divide, believe in a new economic and political paradigm that prioritizes one, bottom-up over trickle-down economics. Two, the people over their leaders. Three, empowerment over power sharing. Four, jobs over positions. Five, enterprise over patronage. Six, economic transformation over opportunistic constitutional amendment. I hereby call Honorable Mabonga to continue. Focused on this new paradigm and through a bottom up economic, economic and governance model, it's possible to enable the over 15, Ke 15 million Kenyans at the bottom of the pyramid to be active and meaningful participants in the economy through deliberate, one, public, stroke, private, labor intensive investment framework to create jobs, two, financing instruments and mechanisms to spur promote and empower hustler enterprises such as Mamamboka, Hawkers, Boda Bodas, Artisans, Artists, among others. And then three, facilitation and enhancement of productivity of farmers, pastoralists, fisher folk, and other actors within agriculture value chain. Number four, implementation of manufacturing an industrial program that prioritizes cottage industries as a multiplier of national productivity. In the meantime, we will continue sponsoring and supporting people-centered legislation and policies that entrench the objectives of bottom-up economic and governance model, and we will also sensitize the public to remove what is in the heads of the majority. May I take this opportunity to invite the leader of majority, 
Hon Adendwale, the man of all seasons. Thank you, uh, Member for Bumula. It is our considered view that to open up the economy, and this is on COVID-19 pandemic, as the PG, we have deliberated the matter and we are saying it is our considered view that to open up the economy and to facilitate economic activity among our people, especially for the millions of hustlers, it is imperative on the part of government to proactively and decisively deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, our country uh, in the world is focused on the speedy mass vaccination of its population. We expect the Ministry of Health to, without any further delay, to roll out the vaccination of Kenyans with immediate effect, as earlier communicated by government and more so by His Excellency the President. Through mass vaccination, we can save lives and progressively reopen our community, our, our economy, the way it has been done in many other countries. That is the end of our statement from the parliamentary group. We had 135 members of parliament from both houses. 15 have sent their apologies. We have two of our governors, the governor for Turkana, Governor Nanok, and the governor for Nandi, His Excellency Governor Sang. And I think uh, you have heard uh, what the PG has discussed any other question you want to ask, if it is not part of our statement, that means it was not an agenda and we will not discuss it. But I think as the Deputy President has said, mine is to send a message to our competitors, because the election is about one year to come. They believe in constitutional reforms and constitutional change, we believe the priority is the economy, and more so the bottom-up economic model. They believe in ganging up and forming tribal chieftain. We believe in a unified, unitary state, politics based on and space created for all Kenyans. They believe in sharing of positions, and that's why you see each one of them. They have no agenda, they have no manifesto, they have no economic model. Some are saying, my business is to deny William Ruto the presidency. That is the agenda of one of the leaders. Another one is so busy with trying to revive NASA and Oka Kenya. So we are saying our manifesto, our agenda is very clear and we want to them also to put in place why the bottom-up model is not good for Kenya but the trickle-down model that we have lived with since independence is better than that what we have. So that should be the discussion. That should be the narrative. So we want the people of Kenya to choose between us and them based on very informed social, economic, political models. That's it, I think. If you have one or two questions, then before we leave. Yes, from KTN. And it should be something on this statement. Thank you, and uh, very good afternoon. Chris Taylor from uh, KTN. Uh, two questions. Uh, one, uh, from your statement, you seem to be uh, people who are not happy with the Jubilee Party that uh, most of you uh, members of parliament have voted in. And uh, to an extent of uh, the juniors are uh, going ahead, even frustrating the second person in command in the country, then what would ask? Why not uh, call it a day and uh, uh, you all resign? And uh, I can see you have a formidable team no, and uh, uh, go to the ground. Let and, me uh, you. 
Let me help you first. For, for both. Let me help you. The second question. The, the second question. Uh, I would like to, to, to know uh, the issue to do with PEP, the People's Empowerment Party. There have been reports that uh, there have been some wrangles between PEP and UDA, especially in the Mount Kenya region. Uh, and that's the reason why uh, the Gatundu South Member of Parliament, uh, Moses Kuri, is not around. Maybe you can confirm that. I think the first Thank one, you. let me tell you, the members sitting behind me are members of United Democratic Alliance. We are in, in Jubilee normally, but the current and the future party of ours is UDA. So any other party, we will not discuss. And I think, too, we will not discuss about the person and the institution of the deputy president. That was not part of our discussion as a PG. Any other question? My friend from NTV. Thank you so much. Uh, and just before you ask, on PEP, the only member on PEP who is a hustler from the Hassan Nation is here and is part of our PG. And is here. Please. Thank you so much, uh, Seth Olave, NTV. Uh, just to ask you if UDA is working with affiliates TSP, Chama Chakwazi. And uh, also, you've said, uh, middle of majority, you've said uh, that, you know, you are either with us or not with us. But are you open as UDA? Now that you're going into a general election and we have a tradition of, you know, transfer of members of parliament and even politicians to other coalitions, are you open to work with other coalitions such as Okan? The rest. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olani. As has been communicated to you, that was not part of uh, the discussion today. So, uh, at an appropriate moment, when that becomes a subject of discussion in our PG, we will ably respond to what you have said. So, please, hold your horses. <laughs> Any other question? Yes? Uh, my question is uh, about uh, bottom-up. Can you be able to motivate emphasis? We know the, the numbers of the youth in this country, they have no job. Can you be able to emphasize how are you going to be improve that economically? Yeah, good question. Good question there. If uh, amongst the 15 million people at the bottom of the pyramid is about 4 million jobless Kenyans. It is our considered position that through policy change in investments, by investing not in capital intensive infrastructural programs, rather investing in labor intensive infrastructural programs, for example, housing cottage industry, agro-processing, value addition, informal uh, manufacturing, we can create millions of jobs. I know the question many people ask, where are you going to find the money? Let me tell you, we didn't have to look for additional money for us to do the 10,000 kilometers of roads we have done. We changed the model of building roads. We didn't
approach. These are some of the issues maybe that can, uh, can actually be implemented through uh, some of your members of parliament if they can actually come up with this, the legislative uh, law so much. Why is it taking long for some of the hustlers, for, for some of the MPs to actually work out issues affecting the hustlers currently? Uh, because you if understand you, last time you said okay. that uh, some of the issues even being uh, uh, being proposed in the BBI, your MPs can actually work on them uh, currently. I think if you read our statement, you will find the answer to your question. Yes. I'm Stephen Leto from Citizen TV. Uh, Kenyans were yesterday taken aback when you opposed the the establishment of a four billion shilling security mm -hmm. uh, factory in the country and one will ask uh, why would you oppose a security factory that intends to boost security in the country or another one would accuse you of trying to run away from either the failure or the achievements of the current regime of the jubilee party administration uh, since you are not in the in the in the room where i made that statement I, uh, maybe I will recommend that, I think it, it's available on YouTube, my <laughs> statement of yesterday, uh, Leto. And if you read, if you listen to what I said, it is not what you're saying. I neither opposed, nor am I trying to run away from anything. So if you just uh, uh, look at it, it will, it will answer your question. Yes, uh, my good friend. Uh, langu ni the last one. Yeah, naitwa Chacha kutoka Switch TV. Na swali langu ni kwa Mkenya kwa ida ambaye katika uongozi ambao umekuwa kihudumu, uh, swala la deni limekuwa tatizo ama changamoto. Je, bottom up approach ita solution VP swala la deni humu nchini? Good question. Uh, you had a chance. Let's, sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, swala hilo la deni tumelizungumzia kwa kirefu kwamba njia ya kutatua tatizo kubwa la madeni katika taifa letu la Kenya ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunapanua na kuwawezesha wananchi wengi hasa wale hawana kazi wale biashara yao ni ndogo na wale hawazalishi kilimo ya kutosha tukiwawezesha wale hawana kazi wapate kazi wataanza kulipa ushuru wakipata kazi tukiwasaidia wale wa kufanya biashara kuwapa mikopo yenye riba ya chini biashara zao zitapanuka na sitainuka wataanza kulipa ushuru wakulima pia watazalisha chakula ya kutosha wapate ile wanaitwa surplus waweze kuuza ndio tuweze kupata ushuru hawa wa Kenya wote karibu milioni tano tukiwawezesha kujumuika na wengine katika uchumi wa Kenya pia tutakuwa tumewaongeza walipa ushuru karibu milioni kumi na tano kuongezea wale walipa ushuru walioko sasa kumaanisha tutapata ushuru zaidi na tukipata ushuru zaidi ama kodi zaidi tutakuwa na ukuwezo wa kusimamia mambo yetu ya maendeleo na vile vile kugaramia kulipa madeni yetu na vile vile tutaanza kupunguza na kuondoa baadaye completely kukopa madeni kwa sababu tutakuwa na pesa ambayo sisi wenyewe kwa kuzalisha uchumi wetu kupitia hii bottom up model ambayo itawawezesha wale ambao hawana kazi wapate kazi wale hawana biashara wafanye biashara na wakulima wazalishe zaidi hiyo growth ya economy ndio itatusaidia kuwa na resources ya taxes nyingi na itatuwe, eh, itatuwezesha kuendesha serikali yetu bila ya kwenda kutafuta mikopo kutoka China na sehemu zingine. So bottom up holds the key to not only us creating jobs, creating enterprise and enabling our farmers 
it also provides the key to us sorting out the big crisis of debt by making sure we have more Kenyans brought into the tax paying bracket because we have enabled either them to get jobs or their enterprises to grow or their productivity to improve. <laughs> Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Let me uh, introduce um, our two new members elected by the Hasla Movement Fraternity. We have George Koenbori, our pioneer. And we have the one and only John Juguna Kawanjiko, who is the latest entrant into this Hustler movement. Thank you, gentlemen. Asante Nisana. So, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for taking out your time. We know you are very busy people and uh, sharing these few moments with us. Karibuni lunch, hapa kwa hasla, na nawatakia kila naheri katika shuguli zenu. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Continue, son. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for um, finding time. I want to welcome the membership of the Fourth Estate, uh, our first team. And by way of beginning, we have concluded the parliamentary group meeting for the Hasla Nation movement that encompasses members of parliament from different political parties that have now converged as members of one parliamentary group meeting. We have discussed a myriad of uh, issues. We have discussed about our political formation the United Democratic Alliance. We have discussed on parliamentary business that is currently before the House and that we intend to sponsor and support going forward. We have discussed matters of national importance. We've had a long discussion on the current situation in the country, especially relating to the corona COVID-19 